uh, your problems are, are, are getting more advanced. <laughs> so uh, thank God I'm getting a little more advanced because I can figure them out. But anyway, uh, I really appreciate you guys. I'm having such a, a fun time doing private readings uh, with you guys. And so ca call me up for a private reading. If you ever thought of getting one, now be a good time because I am a freak. And, and so I'm having fun uh, sorting out your problems. There's a certain you know, thing going on in the cosmos where uh, you have problems because it's very complicated times. Uh, you also have problems because um, all of your idiots are going more idiot. <laughs> and so it seems like, uh, and sometimes we are the idiot and we're going a little more idiot on ourselves. Uh, so there's, there's certain meditations, there's certain demons that are doing things. Uh, we had a lot of stuff attacking us in the last three weeks. We've got a little bit of a reprieval right now. Um, and, and so where it doesn't seem like we're getting exactly beat to death and, uh, spiritually speaking, but a lot of you spiritually gifted uh, people, which is most of you people, uh, on this show. Uh, you know, you're really evolving. You got stuff going on. And so I'm really interested to hear, you know, what's been happening to you this week. And so uh, anyway, Michelle, how are you, girl? What's up? Hi, guys. Hi, Carrie. How's everybody? Hey. Hi, honey. Hey. <laughs> there we go. Yeah. You, you and Dean are like, are like, hey, honey, you guys, Hi, you, you guys, honey, you, you guys honeyed up a little more when you're when you're absent, right. like when he's over here or you're there or you're traveling around the world or something. You know, you guys, I notice you're like a little more woman fuzzy. Do you do you miss each other? I do. Yes, all the time. I, I, I want to be with you 24 hours a day. <laughs> that's you know that's really true. You guys are are really like that. You know, it's it's not an act. You really are like that, and so uh, you totally enjoy each other. You know, there's not many people I can be around 24 hours a day. To be honest with you, you know, <laughs> and so but but you guys are easy to be around. I can be around Judy 24 hours a day. Me too. I oh love yeah, Judy. Judy's great. She's easy. Right? Yeah, that's easy. What? I can't even stand myself 24 hours a day. No, no you're, you're easy, Judy. great. You're, you're just awesome to be around. You, it, it's like, I don't know. I just get high from being around you. And and so so it's really, really nice. I always look forward to spiritual retreats because Judy's here in person. And, uh, you know, Brian's here in person. Uh, David's here in person. A lot of, a lot of you guys. I love all uh, of them. Oh, yeah. Them. Yeah. It's like a little gang. I love you back. Game. I love all of you. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Margaret Anderson. I see a lot of the folks that are always on tapping in. Lisa Berger, you know, you guys are great. Daryl, hey, what up? You know, Daryl, I hope you're making me benches. I need more benches. Anyway, Daryl made me two great benches last time and brought them all the way from Oklahoma, I think. You know, yeah. it's like that. You know, but I, I, I see you guys on tapping in every week. I really appreciate you, Jody Downhill. What up, girl? I love you. And I'm talking to you tomorrow if that works for you. <laughs> and so, and so anyway, there's like, a, but I, I really, really, really uh, just have so much fun on tapping in. And and as I see you guys evolving, I I realized, you know, it was, it was kind of crazy. I go back to the time where, where you know, I, I had COVID and I was dying those five times and I was be becoming more spiritually gifted and I was talking to God and I'm talking to heavenly hierarchy uh, and I'm, I'm seeing all this stuff going on and and I'm learning new things because it was a, it was a brand new heaven I'd never seen before Zion heaven and and God was teaching me about it you know He was showing me stuff and and so it, it's really interesting because a lot of the things that God told me through that time are, are now coming to pass and. This, these are a lot of the things I'm going to be going over in the spiritual retreat. Uh, the spiritual retreat, I think, is going to be more of an advanced retreat than I've ever done um, because I'm just very late. See, you felt warm when I said that. You guys feel that? I felt the energy, you know, and so and so. Um, and, and right in the beginning, God told me to, uh, tonight when I was meditating, God said, there we are, spiritual retreat. Uh, and if you're not booked in, book in, call Michelle, 702. A couple of people signed up yesterday, 702-822-0548, 702-822-0548, or of course, GarySpivey.com or Michelle at GarySpivey.com. And this is a crazy, crazy time. And this is probably... Not probably. This is God. Don't even like that word. Probably when I, I I heard an echo in my head when I said probably. God said probably. All right. In other words, like there's God is definite. God is no probably, no maybe, no kinda. Remember that, Judy? I'd be like ah, 
that, you know. Yes, you I know. just had a trauma when you said probably. <laughs> Did you? Anyway, yeah, it was a little crazy. Everybody taking care of me when I was sick with COVID, I was a little bit hard to deal with. And so, but it, it's true. In God's world, God is definite. God is not probably. God is not maybe. God is not sort of. God is not kind of. God is like it is or it's not. And so um, used that be, used to be. But, it, it used to kind of be like that. And ne there's never a kind of, I mean, remember that kind of, you know? And, and so it was, it was crazy because I could hear not only what God said, I could hear what God thought. And so I could hear his thinking as well as his, his, uh, his words. And so it was really, really tough because I expected everybody around me to be the same way and they weren't. And so it was really, it was really a, a very interesting time. And uh, but a lot of the things have come to pass and are, are showing up. And one of the things that I, that I see, I see the planet Earth getting brutally attacked by entities. And I see a few of us like us guys that understand, get a spiritual gift, use your spiritual gift, clear your energy, clear the demons off of you, clear your family, clear your friends, clear your health clear your money, clear your love. And, and so, I mean, I've never seen spiritual gifts come down like they have in the last little while. Guys, it's raining spiritual gifts. And so, and then you, you have to use them. You have to totally use them. It was like, you know, a couple of weeks ago, we got this, this baby spirit or last week, I'm not going to get my weeks tangled, but anyway, we got this baby spirit. I, I I woke up in my bedroom and I, a lot of times when I wake up, the first thing I see in the morning is God. That's true. And I've, I've been that way for years and I, I wake up and I, and I'll see God and God will tell me stuff. Right. And it's really a, a great way to start your day. And so God will give me the heads up on this and the heads up on that and different things where if I'm doing a, you know, a radio show or, or, or some sort of a gig or a, or a TV thing, or, or if I'm just writing, or if I'm, if I'm talking to someone in a private reading, God will show me stuff. And, and so I have no idea what I'm seeing a lot of times, but God will show me whatever it is I need to see for the day. And he'll do the same thing with you guys. And so all you got to do is just ask, but I, anyway, I got this child's baby, not child spirit, baby spirit. And it looked like that. And God was handing me this little baby. And I thought, okay, what is this? I'm having a baby. I don't think, but maybe. And so you, you never know. And so I, I took this little baby and then I realized it was me. It was my baby spirit. And so this baby spirit brought in such an abundance of love that I can't even explain it to you. There's no word and there's no words that will explain to you how big this energy of love is with your baby spirit. And so these days, guys, the one thing I, you know, I've been saying for, for, you know, months and months is it takes a lot of love. We don't have enough. It takes a lot of love to keep us ticking, but, you know, we need our spouses to hug us tight twice, three times, we need everybody around us to love us a lot. And then we have to love everybody a lot. I mean, it works like that. That's the infinity energy that is between mankind and God and heaven and heavenly hierarchy and the divine beings, which we've been hanging out with lately. And that's that's been really great. I've been hearing great stories about that with you guys. And so, so this is a crazy, crazy time where we have this connection of light and we have this connection of spiritual gifts and we have this a connection of love. It takes a lot of love to make us okay. We we don't ever seemingly have enough. We're we're like little little cravers. We're down here craving more love, more love, more love, please, more love. And so and, and hey, that's normal. I think that's that's just the way we are. And we we come down here from from heavens, high heavens. Some of you guys come from Zion heaven, and uh, and so you come here. You show up on the planet the planet Earth. Um, you're basically doing jury duty, I think. And so you're like, okay, I'm here. I have volunteered for this. Here we are. And and so, and you're, you're evolving the planet earth into a heaven and you're amazing. You're like freaks of nature, spiritually speaking. And when I was 
in Zion heaven, when I was going through my COVID thing and I saw everything and I knew everything and I had this crazy, you know, God consciousness, I was crowned in five times uh, because I was crowned in all five. There's five Zion heavens. Uh, There's a golden one. There's a blue one. There's a green one. There's a white one. There's a red one. Did I go five? I think I did. And so, so these, these five heavens are, are all powerful and they do something a little different and they're all made of different crystals. So when I was crowned in these five heavens, it was, it was like really, really, really crazy because they were made of like white crystal for the white Zion heaven. And it was, it was made of like this sort of amethyst blue and uh, for uh, the blue Zion heaven. And then you had a gold, you had gold, the golden, and it looked a lot like this one or the citrine back here. There we go. And so, and, and so these, and so I realized these crystals are so powerful at the spiritual retreat. You guys are going to freak because I have amazing crystals sitting here for you. And then the green Zion heaven, you know, which is healing. And so as you channel this direct energy in from the highest heaven in the cosmos, what happens is you become a spiritual freak of nature. That's the way it works. Simple as that. So you want to pull in all the light you can, and and you need to find crystals that, this is a good one. Uh, This one's heavy. And so, but uh, you need to find crystals that you're feeling warm and fuzzy with. And then you use these to help you bring in your light and help you bring in your heaven. Because what we're doing, we're creating our heaven on earth right here on earth. And so, and you have all these different spirits. I want you to ask God right now for those five. Ask God for those five spirits. God, please give me my white God spirit. God, please give me my white God spirit. You'll notice your sinuses open. You feel a little warm and fuzzy. God, please give me my golden spirit. My golden spirit will bring me abundance and light and power. Please, God, bring me my golden spirit. Allow your golden spirit. Now allow, allow for you control freaks. Just chill for a minute and allow, just allow. Allow your your spirit to slip into your body, your golden spirit. God, please allow my green healing spirit and my blue healing spirit. They want to bring those in at the same time for some reason. So there we go. Blue and then green and then green and then blue. Bring those in at the same time. Bring those those spirits right into you. Allow those spirits to show up in your body. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. And then the red energy, the red spirit brings in this amazing light and grounds it into your physical world and so uh, god please allow my red spirit to slip into my physical body ah nice you notice your head got very quiet how many any how many of you guys your head got quiet raise your hand if your head got quiet wow bunch of all you wow that's cool huh well so how cool is that to quiet your head the reason your head is noisy is because your head's got demons or you're tapping into demons or other people's demons or demons that have demons or your demons or somebody's whatever, right? It's ta- you're tapping into some of the dark energies and the dark energies are messing with you. And so that's the reason your head is noisy. And when your head goes quiet, that falls into the big deal category. That is a big deal when your head goes quiet. And so when you got all of those five spirits, and so what would you do? You would remember that and If your head is crazy and you're noisy and you got these entities and things messing with you and you're feeling not so good, you would simply say, hey, God, please give me my five Zion heaven spirits. And then you just go through the five colors of the Zion heavens. And again, Zion heaven is made of crystal, all of crystal. And so and every heaven is made of the color crystal that it is. And so you want to simply just ask for those five spirits and then there you are and you'll feel so much better. I'm just looking around. You guys are really, really special. I'm checking you out. Let me see. I want to talk to Christine Lingrid. Uh, you got oh my God, Gary, that was my, that was my first person that was on the list. Let me cross her out. <laughs> Look at that. Right, Christine, I meet yourself. Um, 
I'm reading Michelle's mind because she, she, Michelle has a good mind. You know, sometimes I, I don't really, you know, thinking is work for me, to be honest with you. I, I don't always, I don't always think, I just know. It's much easier for me to know than it is to think. And, and Michelle, you're capable. You're you're like a, kind of a freak of nature because you can think and know really <laughs> easy. It, you know, you're you're one of the best at that, as a matter of fact. And so, the, so when when people can think and know, and and a lot of times I can think and know, but but I would rather just know because it's so much easier for me. And so, but oh, when you can yeah. think and know, um, you know, people don't always trust what you're saying or what you're doing because they're like, that don't make any sense. And then all of a sudden you nail it and you're such in the center, uh, the center of the street with everything. And so I've learned over the years to shut the hell up and listen to what Michelle's talking about. And so <laughs> You're funny, Gary. <laughs> yeah, I thought you. Dean, I thought Dean was just like, you know, in love and stuff. And so I thought, you know, no, you're an idiot. That isn't right. That isn't right. But no, you you really do. You you find the center of the street in some sort of a crazy way, but it, you get there and, and it's perfect. And I love it. So anyway, oh. all you guys, Michelle's hooking you up for the spiritual retreat. She's finding you great places to stay. Uh, as well as staying with us at our bed and breakfast and staying with us wherever there's, I, we almost got people camping in the yard at this mm -hmm. point. And so, and, and so we love that though. It's just great. We're looking so forward to the spiritual re retreat that starts this week. You guys join it virtually. If you haven't joined it virtually yet, join it virtually and you're going to freak out at what you see. I'm going to take you to some sort of secret vortex places that I don't, ever go to and so we're going to do some some really neat things uh and uh also uh we're just going to have great parties you know, so i decided you know we're just going to throw a party every night and uh and we're going to spiritually we'll go into our spiritual zones every day and meditate like crazy uh because i think we need a lot of joy we need a lot of happy we love that thing that thing and so i didn't tell dino yet dino i bought a big disco system i figured you did <laughs> I knew something was up. You were too quiet for the last couple of days. And I'm like, hmm, <laughs> what did he purchase? Yeah. I hadn't found it yet. I've been looking. I knew you did something. <laughs> yeah, that's what. Yeah. And so anyway, so I just, you know, I, I just felt like dancing. You know, I just feel this joy, feel like dancing. So I hope you guys that are coming to the spiritual retreat live. And so this will be a lot of fun. We're going to have fun. Christine, I'm talking instead of talking to you. How are you, girl? I'm but, great. Thank you. You're thank beautiful. You, you. You're beautiful to look at. So I was just going to talk and keep looking so at you, you know. <laughs> Yeah, you you know so you have sweet. this. You no, know, it's true. You've got this crazy beauty. You got a crazy beauty, inner beauty and outer beauty, and so and they match, and and when they match, I mean, if you're not with your soulmate, I don't know why, because you can you can flat conjure <laughs> conjure up your soulmate. Probably bring him into my life, clear whatever I'm blocking, because I like the last retreat I was at. You were like, I attract assholes with egos. That was your words. <laughs> And do you? Did you? I've always, but one of them you were you also did say I kept kept telling me you need you're supposed to be with him. You're supposed to be with, well, he's almost ready. Well, he's almost ready, but I don't know. He's never been ready. So I don't know. I is don't he know. asking is he asking you to take a trip? No. I think it, I think he's it's just little... asking me to sleep with him. <laughs> Well, you know, don't bitch about that. I think it's okay. That's what I see. No, he's got like <laughs> so, eight other girlfriends, so I have to wait till he. I don't think so. I think I think he's about worn his ego out and a few other things, but I think he's I think he's really worn out his ego. Uh, that's what I'm, and 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 I think he really there's a little trip that he wants you to go on with him, because really? he's, yeah, because he's really tired of being aggravated. You know, he has he has the problem in his life of being a really good looking dude. And so is he? He's extremely charming, has a completely sexy voice, good looking. He sold his Bentley, but yeah, I mean, and he just really loved having lots of women. So um, it wasn't really always good for me. <laughs> There's a bunch of girls that are cussing right now. Hell no, girl. Throw him away. <laughs> Beat him up. Kill him. Kill him. Stab him in the chest with a but knife. I, I've made really peace with everything. I mean, he used to lie to me a lot and stuff. And he's I, not lying he, right now. Did you what? notice he's not he's not yeah, lying? Know. He almost likes to like like punish me with his truths. That's where he's at right now. He's angry with me. 
for an no, he's angry with him. Loving. He's angry. He's, with I himself. know, but he's taking I, it out on me. Yes. Yeah. I can get rid of his demons and it'll get better. How's that? Okay. That would be right. wonderful. Okay, here we are. I'm pulling off all kinds of demons. He's got mama traumas. Good yes. Lord. He, he makes yes. sense. Yeah. Yes. And, and so yes. he's got all these things, but a lot of mama traumas. Oil, mama traumas. Foiled and titled. Yes. Yeah, of course he is. You know, mm. to, you know, there. And I'm just pulling all that off. Uh, and when I get rid of all the demons down to his true soul, which takes a minute, um, you're still standing. <laughs> So I still like this guy for you, which means I'm crazy. But um, they've been but, telling me for twelve years. <laughs> really? Did I? Did I really? Yeah, yeah. I like this guy for you. Yeah. You know, yeah. you know. Sometimes you have this soul is, connection with an egoed out crazy person. You better listen to Gary because when I didn't listen to Gary about Dean, I wasted ten years of my life. <laughs> no, so, I know. I've always right? listened, and I've always been open to it, but I'm not open to him sleeping with other people and sleeping with me. I'm just not. So, well, you know, finally he's kind of getting tired of that. Yeah. Yeah. But, he's, but he still wants me to come running. And I guess I need to let go of like him showing me that he's ready. I don't know. So, yeah. I think you, I think you just got to give him a little chance right now. And I see you winning. That's what I see. And okay. I see a little trip and I see a little trip. Okay. And whatever, the, whatever this trip is, and it's not going to make any sense for you. It's out of timing. It's all goofy. It messes up a few other things go anyway. And so oh, just, okay. just, just do it. And so, because okay. I, I think he's wanting to, it's not like he's proposing, but it's almost like he's proposing. Yeah. Like he finally, you know, he's, he's not a dummy and, he, and he's pretty sure. good. He thinks business wise, he thinks pretty good. He's good. He in business. Likes my business advice also. Yeah. And, and he really does. And he's getting yeah. better at business. And he, he, he learned that business is nothing but strategies. And he realized that you're a strategy queen. And well, so, and so that's what he sees you as. And so, so, cause you gave him some advice at work and two or three things yeah. and, and, Okay. And so, so he's just wanting to be successful, happy, and not aggravated. And, and so. Uh, well, he finally, of, I think, moved out from the girl he was living with. So that's plus, but he's yeah, living so in far, So far, every girl on the show right now hates this whole situation. They're not listening anymore. We, they <laughs> tuned out. <laughs> they know. changed channels. You know, <laughs> but it doesn't matter because, you know, he's an idiot, but he's your idiot. It's okay. <laughs> he's my idiot. It's okay. Yeah. And so sometimes it really works like that because yep. you can't replace a soul connection that easy. I, and I so have been angry and then I've made peace with it and I've right. made peace with it. I still love them, but I'm yeah. Okay. I'm going to get rid of, I'm going to get rid of a dark thing around you. That's messing with you. Okay. Yeah. Get rid of my dark things. <laughs> All right. You got a little shell around you. It looks like you're in Thank an you. egg. You're in a black egg. Okay. And I cracked and I cracked that off. Look how you feel warm on the tops of your arms. See? The tops of your arms you show see you feel warm. Feel it? And so that's feel just the light. Chest. Okay. And your chest. Oh, that's even better because that's your that's your heart. And so so, but I just see you now being lit up and and now you're vulnerable to love. <laughs> how nice. How nice. Yes. Yes. And it's my really hand feels clear. My head's been feeling head like heavy and thick and full for a while now. And it's like right. for the last weeks I've been, oh, I, I wish I could get Gary to clear my head because I'm trying oh. and it's not enough. So uh, my head, yeah. head feels so much better. But I well, feel it. Yeah, I can feel it just totally release. See? You know, the word vulnerable is crazy. And so, so you guys, you think, well, I don't want to be vulnerable. That means I'm stupid. Well, you know, that's kind of what I always thought. And so I was talking, you know, Richard and Alice were here visiting with me in North Carolina and, and Richard's the smartest person I know for real. He's no, he's the wisest person I know. Right. And so, which is really the smartest person I know, but he's very wise and Alice is always right. So she may be the smartest person I know. And so, but a, they're a great team. And so I was listening, I was listening to Richard and he said, and I said, what can I do to improve me and, and be happier? And he said, you need to be vulnerable. I'm like, what? Why would I want to be vulnerable? He goes, because <laughs> you have to be. 
and so you have, and I, I didn't understand what he was talking about, but I assumed it was correct because he's always right. He's one of, you know, he just is very wise. And so to be in love, allow love, you have to be a little vulnerable. Let the and walls so, down, right? Let the walls down. Yeah. And so, but I just cleared an energy on you that will make you vulnerable. Thank you. I just yeah. love you, Gary. I just love, I love you. Too. I love, I love you. you. You've done so many things for me and my family over the years. And you're just so kind hearted and you care about kids and you care about so much. And you just really touch my heart. Thank you. Thank um, you. Thank you for all you do for everyone. Well, well, thank you so much. I appreciate that a lot. And I do care about kids. Oh my God. I'm having so much fun with kids right now. I'm having, I'm, and, and, and you know, heaven is giving me, God is giving me all these great kids that I'm having so much fun with. And, and so, and, and the, because they're spiritually gifted and I can teach them so quick, they're a lot faster than adults. I mean, they really are. I'm like, can you see that? Yeah. Can you see God? Uh-huh. Okay. God's giving you this and he's, yeah, but he's giving me that too. And I look and I go, oh, he is, you know, so these little kids are, are freaks. I mean, they're really freaks of nature. So you guys that have kids, you're very, very lucky because these days, these kids are bringing in all these gifts with them. And so it's our job to really you know, it, it celebrate these, these kids that are spiritually gifted kids. And so one of my things I want to do uh, while I'm still hanging out is I want to really evolve kids and create a foundation that evolves children. And so, and so that's it. So my little gifted kids foundation, we're working on that. And so I think okay. we're going to have fun with that. That's what, I'll, what we'll do anyway. I love you. Appreciate you. Okay. Love you. Yeah. Go thank be you, partying. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Hang out with your man. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. There we go. It's really, really good. How's everybody? I'm just looking at you guys. I love you guys. I am so lucky. So lucky. Uh, let me talk to the Galaxy. Uh, what is that? S21 5G. What the hell? Yeah, you <laughs> you know? your, your uh screen name reads your name <laughs> properly. Yeah, but- <laughs> oh, that's neat. That's Welcome kind of to like, my galaxy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, you know, I love you. You know, I was looking at video of you the other day because we, you know, we look at the show sometimes and then cut some fun pieces. And, and, you know, I, it occurred to me that you friggin' get it. It, it. it just occurred to me. And I don't know what your background is. And I don't know uh, where you come from. And I don't know where you go. Well, maybe I know where you're going. But I, but, but you, you really are amazing. And, and you, you really get it. So ever how you came to the center of the street of like almost the whole universe, um, that's a big deal. And so, so you really get it. You know, I see that. And so uh, I see God giving you a ball of golden light. And so he's just handing you this spiritual gift. And you guys should piggyback on this gift. Ask God for the ball of golden light. Say, God, please give me this orb. And it's a golden orb. And it just, there it goes. It flew right into your chest. Oh, there you goes. Feel that? It's really crazy yeah. feeling. Yeah, what a lot is, of heat. A lot of what? A lot of heat. A lot of heat. Yeah, well, because it does yeah. a lot of things. Um, yes. it brought you forty-seven golden roads. Wow. So I don't know what all that is. I have no idea. Um, but that's wow. what it brought. And so, wow. yeah, and so. And your feet are, are really warming up now. Feel how hot your feet are? What does that yes. feel like? It feels amazing. It's it, it feels like it just came, when it came into my heart, it swirled around me in such a fast way with heat and it shot out through my feet and my crown. So I feel like I, I, I feel like I experienced an illumination. You did? Yes. Yeah. Yes. yeah. You, you have great words too. Oh, thank you. That's my my new word. My new word is illumination. Illumination. (laughs) That's a big word. That's good. Yeah. You know, sometimes when I'm uh, speaking to like after I do a session, excuse me, with someone, sometimes I don't know what I'm going to say, but I know what I was told in the in the session, you know, so as I start to speak, it's like the vibration is so high and fast that sometimes what I say, I'm like, gosh, wow, that's pretty wise. So there's a lot of wisdom that moves through. And I, you know, that's how it works. 
That's how yeah. it works. Yeah. We don't know what we're going to, I have no idea what I'm going to say. <laughs> when I, when I read people in private readings, I don't know what, I have no idea. I don't plan it. I don't think of it. I don't do, you know, I don't have an agenda. Uh, yes. I'm just like, Hey, how are really? you? You know, and I yes. let the universe tell me. And so that's a good reader. That's really good. That's really yes. good. And to I, do it I, that I have a high amount of uh, surrender. Like that's what I do. I surrender any human resistance, fear, doubt, um, mm-hmm. And human ego. I say that before I start my meditation and then also I before drink. I work. I usually class. drink. <laughs> that works out really well. I'm joking. I don't. I used to drink. In the beginning, when I first started doing readings, I could only read stuff when I was drunk. And so it was, it, you know, because, and I didn't understand what that was. I was like, I could, I could have like uh, a half of a cocktail and I would be brilliantly psychic i'm like what is this and so then i became then all of a sudden i ended up on this giant radio show and and a few tv shows later and and i'm a famous psychic wink wink right so so i'm thinking i'm gonna be a famous drunk because i'm (laughs) only psychic if i drink and then i i I couldn't figure it out i thought well why am i psychic would i drink god is this some joke you know that you know okay get drunk psychic no but you know here's what it is i i had i finally realized this because i was going to do this major radio show to three million people which which is my weekly radio show and um and dean yeah i said dean you know put you know make sure you you know you bring uh my gin in a little water bottle right and and dean forgot the gin or got the bottles mm-hmm. tangled up and he brought me a bottle of water and so so then i ended up on the radio show with no gin right i thought oh my god i won't be psychic and remember that dean remember when you did that Dude, you we're know? in an elevator going into the los angeles radio show and you were like Hand me my special bottle and I handed you a bottle and you were like, no, no, the other bottle was like, that's the only bottle I have, water. And he goes, oh my God, where's the gin bottle? I'm like, well, I'm hoping you should be psychic without it. Just go. I said, you're going to be live in two minutes. So I said, you don't have time for gin. Just go live. I'm going to kill. And I thought, I'm just going to kill him. I'm going to kill you. Right. And so that was one of the, I'm going to kill Dean moments. Right. But you did a great show without oh and the show was amazing i did the show i did this show and it was like one of these walking on water shows right and i went i don't need gin to do it you know and i realized no that's when i realized and i started telling everyone to allow so i could have one cocktail and i'm allowing and so because i don't even like to drink that much right And, and so and so i i realized ah it's allowing it's not gin it's not having a cocktail but it's allowing and so and what you're what you're saying and what you're talking about is allowing you know and so so that's what that is yeah and And i'm so high it's like it's like a bliss like every time gary it's well you know you're well aware and everyone on the call who's a healer that high is is the best natural high and you just feel i feel this wholeness and completeness within my heart and, wow. you know, all this hot, like higher guidance and hierarchy that's always readily and available for us instantaneous and just like wrapping our heads around that and really getting out of the way and the allowance, just like you said. And then we receive more when we step into that every time, just surrendering and then stepping into I'm, the trust. That's, that's it. Are, are you on? Are you have you have you got the virtual retreat yet? Uh, not yet, Gary, but I would love to. I would love to attend. Okay, um, well then I'll, I'll give you a free virtual retreat. Oh, okay? Gary, you're because, so sweet. Well, not really. God is, and <laughs> God told me. You know, God told me to do that. Okay. Aww. God said, make sure she's on there. And and the reason Aww. I want to make sure you're on there is because you are a person that's got the right idea. You are a person that does everything the right way. And you're not selfish. You don't read from your ego. You read from truth. And so, and I love you. And so, so, I and I see, you. well, I see, I see your abilities and, and with some of the divine beings and the divine gifts that we'll get at this spiritual retreat guys i mean if you're not signed up to do the virtual retreat sign sign up okay uh, you can call michelle and do that uh, 702-822-0548 and or you can go to GarySpivey.com and certainly do it and so but this is this is really good and so michelle make sure that she's up for our, our virtual retreat okay hey and galaxy s two one five g how do i get a hold of you what is your <laughs> <laughs> it's hard to address you properly 
<laughs> I'm a mystery. Now, my name is Maureen Malone. <laughs> Maureen. Where do you live? Where do you I live? live in, I live in San Diego, California. I live in paradise. <laughs> oh, my God. That's awesome. I'm going there this month. Oh, well, oh, excellent. Come, come visit me, Michelle. I'm right by the beach. Okay. Right. She will. That'd be good because they're down there. They're down there partying while I'm working. My anyway. So yeah. <laughs> I'll see you again, then, Bobby. Oh, honey, we're gonna meet. See her. <laughs> All right, we're gonna be there. Uh, All right, two weeks. Yeah. Okay, oh, excellent. A, Thank you so plan. much, Gary. You're so special and you're so kind. You. I just love your heart. You have so much compassion, Thank and you. I love your sense of humor. I I laugh the whole uh, Zoom class, and I just feel enlightened, and I just feel like I'm getting my ab workout too. So, <laughs> <laughs> well, you're, you're, you're you're very very sweet, and and that gift that you just got, that ball of golden light. I hope all you guys got that, um, because Thank that you. particular ball of light. I kept on asking God, what does this one do? What does it do? Because it's a wow. little different. It's it's a heaven orb and it oh, helps wow. you create your heaven, but better yet, it helps you create other people's heaven. Oh wow. And wow. So see, see I feel how you so got special. Yeah. yeah. I feel you, you got oh really gosh. teary then. See? Wow. And so because that's when you when you create other people's heaven, you just heal them up. And so that's really yes. good. And there that's rewarding to me too, Gary, when I see others step into their, uh, you know, divine alignment and their passion at just, that lifts me up. That makes me, me more too. excited. Yeah. yeah. Selfishly, selfishly, I do everything I do. Anyway, good luck. <laughs> Take thank care, you, girl. I love you and appreciate you. Thank Ooh. you for my thank gift. Thank message, you. Thank message you. me. <laughs> yes, I will. I'll text you, uh, Michelle, okay? Thank you. Thank you. I want to talk to Jeannie. Oh, shit. What happened? Hey, Gary. Uh, all right. Accident. I did that, Gary. I'm sorry. I accidentally muted you. <laughs> oh, okay. Did I go away? No, no. You're still there. You didn't go away. You're still there. Who do you want to talk to, Gary? You said <laughs> Jeannie Raven? Yeah. Okay, Gary. Uh, honey, you got her, right? Yeah. I was um getting ready to mute the Hi. previous caller, and I accidentally hit Gary oh. yesterday. Oh, right, Jeannie, you look at good. Good. You look Hello. great, girl. You out working <laughs> well, the streets of Los well, Angeles? Thanks. What are you doing? Yeah, right. Yeah. yeah, driving around everywhere. I just got back home. Um, yeah, I uh I don't know, just uh just taking care of my pups in here right now. And um, you know, I'm uh working on actually uh getting things out to Michelle for your retreat this week. Oh, well, so, you know, I, lo I love everything yeah, you do. Yeah, our oils. You know, this is one of my favorite ones, you know. And so, and Jeannie creates all these magical fragrances and these things, and they do stuff. And and all I know is they make me feel good. And so, so and they and they good, bring in a good. lot of healing light. When I was when I was sick back about a year and a half ago now, thank God it's that long. Uh, there, you know, your your fragrances mattered because uh, I could I would smell them. And I would feel the intention behind them. And so you and, oh, uh, good. and your I'm daughter. So, I'm so glad. Yeah. You and your daughter and your whole family, you're just, you're just healers, you know? And, and so that's, that's beautiful. You're well, we love a lot, right? We love a lot. You, lo so. you love a lot. You Balance love a lot. Balance her paintings right now, Gary. <laughs> Is she? Yeah, she's, yes, she's, she's in her studio. Oh. And uh, and I'm in the other room taking care of uh, taking care of the pups and uh, listening to you and enjoying the conversations everybody's having. I I love to see everybody getting positive, uh, beautiful uh, healings and and great vibes for them. So it's well, really well, really I wonderful. Just, just so I agree with Maureen. It's wonderful well, to watch every week. <laughs> well, thank you so much for being here every week. And so, but I I just love your. How do people get your stuff? You got you got so many things, you know. And I like I like the the. Um, you know, this one just brings in a healing energy. You have to tell uh, me what it is, but it Brahma. It's, yeah. Brahma. So, that one's Brahma. And, and Brahma, um and, Brahma's a Hindu yeah. god of creation. And so I have a, a Brahma bench where I would sit and and uh, God said many times the divine beings, God would give me a divine being or would give the divine being me. And I think probably the divine being was like, oh God, uh, you know, I have to evolve this human idiot. 
And so, but it was like, I, I would be with this divine being and then they would hang around for months, sometimes years. And, and I would get up and there they would be, and then they would tell me and teach me. And that's how I know so much stuff uh, is because I got taught by the divine beings, but I'm particularly a partial to this, but this one. And so, and so it's, yeah, it's, it's like, it's, I call that one with Brahma, the spa, ah. Oh. <laughs> it's just right. like bliss it's like being at the spa you know it's like that it's so, totally like that and so yeah man, he but does her reiki healings on those and adds those crystals that's why yeah yeah you we, know, well, we add more. um zion zion heaven infused into it you know yeah. and and the after oh there you go oh how cute i love it <laughs> yeah we so so that one is vishnu and we mm -hmm. have vishnu also Mm. And uh, Vishnu um, gives strength and stamina and wields the energies of the universe. Well, you know, I, I'm so, always amazed. I'm always amazed at how you nail it. This is a really super powerful crystal. Um, and and this one, you know, like I go through, you know, thousands of crystals. We got and I got all the crystals I sell are always in my house. They're always that's where I I hang out and and uh, I and love I'm the crystals meditating. in your house. Yeah. Isn't this a crazy and look the color of this? Yeah. Look how look how yeah, close green you adventuring. It. Yeah. And so I mean you totally nailed it. And so, but anyway, how do people get up and how do people call you and buy some buy some of the stuff that so, you you're so wonderful? Online website. Chat. Yeah, online website, Reiki Luminary.com. And um how do you spell yeah, luminary? So, how do you spell luminary? <laughs> <laughs> well, R-E-I-K-I-L-U-M-I-N-A-R-Y. I spelled it right. Yay. I <laughs> Yay. <laughs> thank good. you, Michelle. Thank yes. you. Thank or you, you guys can also yeah, call so, and connect you with, with Jeannie. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Yeah. It's uh, I didn't, I, I started out with doing Reiki and, and um, working with the energy after I got healing from, from Gary, because I just felt the energy so much stronger. Um, I didn't really know what was happening to me after I got healed with him. <laughs> <laughs> because every time I would do Qigong or Tai Chi, which I was doing beforehand to try to, you know, feel well, um, after the, the healing, my hands were just on fire every time I would do any of those uh, modalities and, uh, and practices. And, um, and so I thought, oh, I need to do, maybe I need to be doing something with this because I just feel the energy so strong. So that's how I got into Reiki. It yeah, worked. Because that's a hands-on energy. Well, you know, it works so much for you. And that's the reason when people are around you, they get high. When people use your your products, they get high. Uh, they can feel it. I can feel it. They heal you. And uh, and so it was, it was really, I believe that and and with all my heart. And 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 there's there's like uh and let me just say you were getting so severely attacked when I first the mm -hmm. first time I saw you. Uh I mean, yeah. I'm I'm like this is the darkest person I ever read in my life. And I'm like, what, <laughs> what is wrong? You know, and she, you know, and, and so, but, but, and then I, I I've learned this, uh, you know, through the years. Uh, and then I would clear off a layer, a layer, a layer that day. I remember I was working with you and yeah, I was you just kept going. Backyard. <laughs> Yeah, right. And I'm yeah. like, I've got it. You know, we got to go a little longer. I'm just working on this and getting rid of it. And anyway, finally I got it down and all of a sudden you lit up and you lit up as big as the universe. And I saw this light wow. go into you. I saw this new spirit go into you. Um, and I, I, I saw all these spiritual gifts and I remember telling you, you're okay now you're going to be fine. And you were, yeah, which yeah. is just I, instantly. It, it was amazing. Yeah. I had been 17 years feeling you know, just pain every day, just different levels of it, different flare up times where I would have flare ups for two weeks, three weeks at a time, 24 seven, nonstop pain until I could break it. And, um, and so, yeah, I mean, having that back has, has opened up a whole new world for me Was you know, for the past you... 12 years. Now I'm able to, you know, live life and go on adventures with my, my family and my daughter and, you know, go through the backwoods of Thailand and everywhere where I couldn't have, I couldn't have done that before. So. 
I'm so um, happy, big, but you know what, so but you're you. healing other people. See, a lot yeah. of times yeah. guys, you guys will go through something in life and you'll think you're getting beat to death because you are. Well, it's not because you're getting punished or you've done anything wrong. You're doing everything right. You know, one of my sayings is the good news is you're a bright light. The bad news is you're bright light. And so the dark energies will try to darken you down. And that's what they were doing with you. And they were messing with you and hurting you and yeah. making you sick. And so, but then when we get rid of all that and so you guys can have the abilities of the, the, the same power that I have, uh, and a lot of you guys more, uh, use your spiritual gift, clear your energy, use all your spiritual gifts, clear everybody else's energy, and uh, you're going to be fine. But I, I, I all I can say is Gary's the real deal. <laughs> You're the real deal, Gary. <laughs> well, thank you. You are too. It was a, it's too. an absolute, I can't tell you. I just can't never uh, you know, just it, say thank you. Thank you is not big enough for what for what I've gotten back in my well, life. So so and you know so what? And your, and your daughter, Fallon, who is a beautiful artist and creating all these amazing heavenly works of art. Um, you know, she paints angels. She paints all these different heavens, Zion heaven, all the different ones. Um, when she, when you would come for sessions, she was just a little girl, and she would sit there and listen, and and then she would draw the angel I talked about or draw the demon I talked about mm -hmm. and, she, cause, yeah. and she could see them and she could see them. So now, yeah, you know, yeah. of course she's went to, you know, school, art colleges and that, whatever. And so she's painting these amazing works of art. And uh, um, so usually we sell some of those at the retreat, which is great. And, and I, I've got uh, someone that I tell her I need a, 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 a Jacle or whatever. She's got the, the print of, of the one she gave me the original. And oh, so, okay. Uh, yeah, okay. no, she's definitely sending that. Right? I hear you. Yeah, uh -huh. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. she's been working on that. I was going to say, there she is. Where is she? Oh. I don't know if you can see me. <laughs> oh, there. Oh, wow. Look at that thing. Wow. That's Mine, great. She's hard at work. Yeah. Your house is like a fun house. You know, like it's a crazy fun house, right? And so you got an art yeah. studio in one room and you, you know, you have all your amazing healing fragrances and things in the other, you yep. know, you guys are silly. I love By it. The way, yeah, we travel we around. To the retreat, Jeannie and Fallon are sending um, a print and their oils compliments from them. So isn't that awesome, Gary? Yes. yes. Oh my God. Yes. Of course yeah. Everybody, everybody needs to actually... use them. <laughs> mm. Oh, they, well, they guys, need to you, use them during your retreat too, because they'll they'll feel will. um they'll feel the difference. Yeah, as they're wandering around, like use the use one of their their oils at one of the benches and use it at another bench and see the difference in their vibration. You, you know, I see I see us using the fragrances in you know at the in the Native American fire pit, you know down oh, good. Like big giant trees and and this mm -hmm. this fire pit. You remember you did a great ceremony there one time. Yeah. And so yeah. I love this piece. Tell me about this piece, yeah. Fallon. Tell me about this piece of piece of art. What is that? Um, so right now there's an angel I've been working on for the last couple of days. Um, so I have to paint her arms in still, but up here, this is the golden earth. And I'm going to put gold leafing on there, which I haven't done yet. But um, there's going to um, be like a gold halo around the earth and around this angel once I'm done painting her. And wow. uh, it's I don't honestly I don't know what angel it is but I saw this when I was meditating a little while back and I, I can tell you okay it's the angel of earth oh my gosh okay and heaven it's the angel of earth Yay. and heaven wow and, and, and oh so, my she, God, that makes so much sense. Bring, yeah she brings in um she's exotic looking and so but she brings in the native energies uh the native energies bring in energy to the heaven on earth dimension um the if it's native american the happy the happy hunting ground if you would and so but this 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 you experience if you go to ojai or if you come to my house in california you know you could be in ojai california you could come to my house in north carolina and you'll feel this crazy native spirit um you could also go to hawaii or you could, you know, there's many different native cultures around the planet Earth, uh, but she brings in that crazy healing, uh, abundance, uh, prosperity, and so, and I get a vision of um, the, the corn of plenty, the cornutopia, or what, what's it called? It's called oh yes, yes, cornutopia. Mm -hmm. And and so, but I see those, I see that that vision when I look at her. So to own her. Um, or to have a print of her, 
And so everybody could, how do people get a print? How do um, people buy, how do people buy the original? And of course the original costs a, more than the print, but, but either one brings in these special energies. And so how do people do that? What do they do? Call, call you, call Michelle, yeah, call they whatever. Can call Michelle, they can call me, whichever. Um, okay. And my website's fallenlovesnature.com. So they can also contact me through there. Um, yeah, I can order prints for pieces that people are interested in. Good, 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 good. Uh, I yeah, need a print. Sense. I need. Yeah, I need a print of of the um, the the one that you gave me. My the one that, that is the the beautiful gates and heaven. And, you okay, know. I got you a print. I we gave you that the last Zoom. I'll get you another one. She's sending more. Oh, I have one. Oh, okay, that's yeah. right. Oh, okay. Paper print, or do you want like a canvas print of it? Oh, maybe a canvas print of it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I like because the paper one Michelle has for you, but the canvas ones, I have to get those ordered. Oh, so but people, you can you can people can call up and and you guys can figure all that out. So anyway, yell at us, and, and so it's easy all day. Always, guys, it's easy to call Michelle and Michelle and Fallon are buds, and they'll hook it up. All right, so seven zero two eight two two zero five four eight. And so, Jeannie, you thank back. you, thank you, guys. I love yeah. you guys, and uh, I appreciate you, you so much. I love this. I'm, I we love the way this one. Hey, thank you. Uh, this one is turning out really spectacular um oh, and i can feel see with me i can read art like i can read people i can read art because art is from creation um and like the the being brahma the the hindu god of creation right. and so when you tap into these beautiful energies and these divine beings um when you have this piece of art in your house guys it brings in heaven and so, and it brings in abundance and it brings in light. Feel your feet get warm and see that's coming from this. This is really cool. That's a cool. So painting. she'll have that. You'll have it finished next week. Right. Allie for the, um, uh, I'm the trying, virtual. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely trying to have it done by then. Um, so we're going to have you, uh, we'll have you on Zoom through the retreat. Uh, so you can show some of the different art pieces and, and we'll go from there. Okay. Okay. So, Sounds all good. Right. Yeah, and so I'm sure people like always. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah. And I'm, 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 I'm. Wish we were there with you this time. Hopefully, we'll be able to make it to the next one. But we, um, we, we just love the retreats. We well, have such well, a wonderful guys, time. Well, wonderful. Well, people. you guys are always, you guys are always here with me, and I'm always with you. And so, but we'll, we'll have, you know, if we could if you could do that you know just have a lot of your you know your stuff and we're going to mm -hmm. have a moment where we can hang out and and i want to just look at what your new projects are uh some of the paintings that are available for people to buy uh you know now and and so and there we are that's good and and also uh genie with your your healing products which are are really amazing you know this one really freaks me out because i can feel such a healing energy and mm -hmm. and i'm attracted to this exact color i mean if you look at this guys yeah and green adventuring you, and then if you look at this guys it's the same thing it's a, that's crazy and this is one yeah. of my that's one of my favorite healing yeah, i'm so happy you like it i'm so happy that you're it. enjoying it yeah yeah no it's, there's there's different ones i mean I, I got quite a few but there's different ones that i have here on my desk and i just love them you know and this one old man in the cave right yeah wise old man in the cave yeah <laughs> Yeah, we're going to be talking mm -hmm. about him through the spiritual retreat. If he'll if he'll make an appearance, hopefully, I'll, I'll, let me ask him. He goes, he messed with me. He said maybe. <laughs> so he's being <laughs> funny, you know. There is no maybe. Of course he will. He, he laughed. Wonderful. Anyway, so so but we, we're going to have a lot of fun. I love you guys. I'll see you soon. I can talk love to you all night. Love you too. Love you, everybody. <laughs> Thank you. Have a wonderful, Thank you so a wonderful much. weekend. Love you guys. Love you guys. Appreciate you. Love you. <laughs> Oh, beautiful, beautiful. <laughs> I got high. I got high from that somehow. You know, no. I, hope you, I hope you guys did. It feels really good, though. It feels really good. Who are we talking to, Michelle? You pick. Oh, thank you, Gary. I got a lot of new uh, people for you, okay? So yeah. uh, can we first start with Flores? F-L-O-R-E-S. Thank you, Flores. Flores, please unmute yourself. Yeah, we got a lot of new people. Yeah. Hi, oh, can you hear us? Dog. You got a little <laughs> dog. Look at that. <laughs> This is Gwenny. It hi. looks like an it looks like hi. It looks like an Ewok. Hi. Hi, right. how, how are you? I am good, oh. buddy. I am good. Jo, how are jo, you? Joe, Joe, Joe. 
Jordan Flores. Yeah, your name is Jordan. Uh, hi, Gary. So, um, hey. sorry. Hi. Oh my gosh. Okay. So, my question is: Hold a piece. Thank you. Um, so we have three boys. They're they're all special needs, but this one in particular, we've um applied. No. We've applied for him to go to like a special school. And um, so we're in the process of that. And I, I'm just wondering how that looks for us. Um, and also considering that it's really far away from where we actually live. So I'm just kind of wondering how that's going to work out for us. Hi, mister. I, I think I think you're hey, buddy. Hi. Hold on, buddy. Yeah. Hold on. Hold on. Hi. No, I'm totally, I'm Hi. totally good with him. Uh, you know what he's doing? Let me tell you, he's he's a big being. He's up there doing, he's bringing in light for God. If you notice it, how he moves his head round and round, yeah. right? Uh, he's actually bringing in light from the universe uh, to the planet Earth. And so when he does that, feel how your hands got hot right now? Actually, my head got hot. <laughs> your head got hot, right? My head yeah. did too. And so I was looking to see where he was yeah. and what he was doing. You too. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, your head's hot. <laughs> there my, we are. My head got, got, got hot too. <laughs> well, that's because you're lighting up the planet. I'm John, you are. The... I'm, George, I'm George, George, Jordan too. Yeah. He's Jordan? Yeah, his name is Jordan. Oh, Jordan, Jordan. Jordan's like an angel yeah. incarnate. He's, he's like an angel. He's really like an angel incarnate. He is an angel incarnate in, in, in incarnated into a physical body. And the reason uh, he's moving his head around and around, I was looking to see where he was. Uh, he's in the big cosmos energy, bringing in tremendous light to the planet. And if you move your bodies around at the same beat, he's doing it. You're going to feel really, really, really good. And so, because he does that every day, he's always happy, yeah. right? Oh my gosh. Yes. Always happy. Yeah. It would be yeah. impossible. <laughs> it's almost impossible for him to be in this energy field and not be bliss and not be happy, yeah. but to have him in your household is a lucky thing. So thank you. Yeah. And so he's amazing. It's, it's cool. I look <laughs> he's forward he's to a little miracle. Yeah. I'll meet him in person sometime. I can see that. I look forward to that. <laughs> oh, awesome. Oh, awesome. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so how do you see the whole thing with the school going for him? I think it'll go really, really good. I see one person there that's going to be able to teach him in some blissful uh, where he is way because they understand him <sighs> like I'm understanding him. Um, I'm asking, uh, I've, he's got um, maybe about a thousand higher selves up in this dimension doing the job for God. Uh, and I'm bringing one of the bigger ones down and asking, um, will, would it like to get inside of his body to help him function in this dimension a little better, right? And it says, if you think I should. Right. And so, I, so I'm saying, yes, I think you should. Right, me, 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 Mr. <laughs> Mr. What he Mister. said, right, Mr. <laughs> well, I'm going to pull this down and see. Look, see how he's smiling. See, he's, he's smiling. Mister. Yeah. Yeah, see, he's happy. Mr. Yeah. Christmas tree. All right. <laughs> yeah, maybe you could come over for Christmas and see me. There we go. Look at, look at, look and see now. Look at that. Look at that. And so now then he feels a lot better. And so he's got his big higher self in, in him. And now his head is hot. Yeah, and so, my head is too, too, too old. <laughs> me, 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 mister. Say thank you. No, mister. Yeah, say, say thank you, Mr. Gary. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye, mister. Bye, buddy. See you soon. I, I love you. Hey, Bye. I love you. I Bye, love you. Mister. <laughs> Bye, mister. Bye, mister. mister. That's he's Jordan. Bye, he's, he's a yeah. Jordan. I got his big higher self in his body. Uh, you'll notice that he'll not have any fear of anything now. You know, even even water, he'll be okay with that. Awesome. You know? Yeah. Great. Yeah. Thank yeah. you so much, Gary. Okay. Bye. Hey. Yeah, yeah, Gary. <laughs> Bye, buddy. Bye. 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 Bye, Jordan. Take care. Bye. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. cute. That was the yeah. I don't know how much of that you guys got. That was awesome. But, 
but that that what I was doing was I was talking to him where he hangs out uh, in these higher dimensions, and and I was experiencing also what he experiences in these higher dimensions, and as I did that, he brought in crazy gifts and crazy light to all of us, right? And so, so uh, you guys, as you tapped into that, you're going to find that something happened really joyful and special. I see a lot of smiles on your faces. That's so cool. That's perfect. Some of you guys are even tearing up and crying because you, you feel the healing energy coming in from Jordan. And so how cool is that? That's how I get, I, I work with autistic, I work with autistic kids and I get them to come and be present with their big higher self inside of their body and when i get their big higher self out in the cosmos like this like that that's a great illustration uh to go down into their body and then it just really kicks and so that's that then they're able to talk more they're able to communicate more they're able to be uh in this world as well as the other worlds they're in and and so, but they're and certainly I work with a lot of kids that are nonverbal and boom, they can talk again or talk, not talk again, talk for the first time. And so, so that's really, really, really the most special thing that I enjoy doing. And it's one of those interactions like I just had with Jordan. So that's pretty cool to catch. You know, not always do we catch those uh when I'm doing a show, but but that was really good. That was really good to see that. Anyway, who are we talking to, Michelle? Thank you, Gary. I got on a couple more new people here. Edgar Pena. I hope I said that right. Uh, Ed- Let me talk to, well, hang on one second before I go to Edgar. I want to go to Tammy. Let me go to Tammy. Tammy, okay. what are you, Tammy, what are you feeling? You felt something there. What did you feel? Yeah. What did you feel? What were you I just, feeling? Just felt really connected to Jordan. Like, just a a oneness like it just brought tears to my eyes like I can't control myself like I'm just oh beautiful right I I got so high and and so what a blessing what a blessing what a blessing mister you know and and then I finally become Gary at the end which was nice and so but he's like uh what a joy what a joy but you you I, I could tell you felt the same thing I felt and so you would be really good at working with kids that are gifted. And so I just wanted to tell you that everybody has different gifts and we, we don't all have the same gifts. Uh, and, but, but you would be really good with that. You would just, you would get it. You would find that beat, that vibe. And so. Which is funny because I'm looking for a job and I've been kind of gravitating to children with special needs and autism. Yeah. You'd be, a, you would, you would be a saint. I'm telling you. Yeah. Because you're empathing exactly where Jordan was. That was one of the most healing energies I ever felt in my life. Um, and so, and the, what a blessing he was for me and what a healing he was for me and for all you guys. And so, but you, you felt exactly what I felt. And, and so that's, you, you would be really good. Find a job like that and you're going to be a superstar at it. Okay. I hope so. And I, I really hope to come to your virtual retreat this weekend for my birthday. That's my fingers crossed. I'm manifesting it. Um, oh, good. Well, I'll give you a free one. So there we are. Okay. All right. Happy birthday, Tammy. Yeah, there we are. I want you to come. And I want all you guys to come. All you guys, you got to show up. You got to come to this virtual retreat. I mean, I hear so many good things after the retreat uh, from you guys that that join us on virtual. Uh, you guys are, are always, you know, join us on virtual and and you're going, I got the same gifts. I got these gifts. They're really, really cool. They really, you know, and, and so we're running around getting gifts from all these magical vortexes where I've meditated for my whole life. And 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 you guys are, are getting these gifts and 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 they really work they really really work and so uh anyway so there we are michelle will take care of you okay i got you Tim. So much. I you. <laughs> yeah, happy birthday thank you happy so birthday. much well, she's so sweet she really could feel it i could tell she was really zoned in to that kid you know our little Jordan. We got to check in with him often, just so we get, you know, selfishly, we'll get all kinds of gifts. <laughs> you know, you guys are lucky when you got these spiritually gifted kids because they just load you up. I mean, they really, really do. Who are we talking to, Michelle? 
So awesome, Gary. By the way, Tammy was manifesting it for so long that you literally just made her dream come true. So good oh. job on manifesting Terry and good job, Gary. <laughs> um, okay, it was uh, Edgar Pena. Let me go ahead and, um, honey. Edgar, you please unmute just... yourself. Yep. Oh, there you are. Hey, Edgar, how are you? Uh, I'm great. Uh, this is my first time here. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Yeah, okay, buddy. I, my God, I, I, as soon as I came into into this uh, a portal, you're you're we're in a portal right now. You, okay. you, you've opened up you've opened up the uh, channel there, and I felt my crown chakra just lit up as mm -hmm. I was doing some mantras from that uh, my master teacher gave me a lot of light bulbs, and I was just mm -hmm. doing my mantra just to get the blessing from 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 this event. So you thank are, you so you're, much. You're. Well, you're so cool. What you know? What's your nationality? What are you? What are you? I was, born, you have... I was born in Peru. My okay. parents are part native, uh, Quechua, from Cusco, Arequipa, from the mountains. Uh, yeah, and it, it was something that that was I I I didn't know what you know Mayan Inca Peru. So Inca, I mean, I I realized I realized it was some special ancient. Yes. Part um, native there, yeah. Uh, yeah. Part, part part native from the Quechua culture. Yeah, my father's, my father and mother spoke the the Quechua language. Actually, wow. I unfortunately didn't uh, learn it, but uh, I owe a lot to my ancestors. Uh, I'm highly connected to my ancestors. Uh, you are. They have a lot. Yes, they have. They have a lot of blessings and rewards for me coming. Uh, yeah. Every it, day. It, I, I see all these things, and when I look at you, I see. Um, um, your ancestors are dressed up much like what I saw when I was hanging out with the Mayans in in, uh, in Tulum, um, and and um, some of the ruins in, in Chichen Itzu and some of these places. Um, and I got I got so many gifts. I mean, it was really amazing what happened when I was there. And when I look at you, I see the same energies. I see these uh, native. Um, uh, spirits that would be your ancestors yes uh, and but i see them dressed in a lot of ceremonial garb if you would you know they're dressed up and 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 they did they dress up in in like colorful stuff yes or, actually the 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 flag of my of cusco where my father was born it's actually a rainbow flag all right the flag I, knew of cusco, say, so you, I knew you were gonna say that yeah, yeah. uh so it has beautiful well this area it has beautiful rainbows on the water like the water will sometimes blow out of the ocean or something or out of yes. the river or whatever. But I see these rainbows around, you know. Yes, I believe I'm a rainbow child. So, <laughs> yeah. we're, uh, you know, are the the my na the natives, the Incas, the God, God, the sun was their God. But, you know, God is everywhere. So uh, right. all, the, the, all these colors are from God, the source. Right. So. Yes, really and, and so and the and the sun god and the, there we are. That's what I there saw. I saw that, hey, that's that Niagara kind of... Falls. I love that place. I that's <laughs> my favorite place to go. Niagara oh. Falls. Wow. Well, there we actually, are. Actually, yeah, I live in Toronto. Actually, in Canada, near, oh. near near Niagara Falls. Wow. Wow. Well, that's 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 a beautiful. You know, when I look at you, you're just uh, all beauty. Um, and thank you, you have so much. Crazy, but you have a crazy. You know, there's an energy. Uh, you have in your heart to heal and yes. they're, they're allowing me to open that for you. Is that okay? Thank you. I, I appreciate it. Uh, I'm grateful. A million times grateful. Thank you so much. Well, I love God you. is giving, well, thank you. And I love you. God is giving uh, you a gift and it's a divine gift to open your heart. It's a key. And the key is, um, is a, a diamond key. And, and so take the key, I'm going to put it in your heart, and you're going to put it in your heart. God's going to put it in your heart, and then we're going to turn it, okay? Thank you. And this is, and this is opening your heart to bring um, you to this higher vibration of healing. And so now look how you're feeling. Now your back is hot, your hands are warm. My, my, my crown chakra is just like, uh, like wow, right now, my crown you chakra. And yeah. a lot of emotions are dissipating for me. I uh, oh, yeah. And so that's what the key looked like, and so it looks like. And so there we go. That's what the key looks like. And so I see you. Uh, and now you're. I feel uh, you. You look like a big cluster of diamonds, which means you will you'll find yourself very lucky with money, and so you'll be very Thanks. lucky with abundance <laughs> and money. And yes. so there. Feel how you feel okay. now? It's a crazy feeling. Wow. 
And, and you know what? One thing I made a vow to God, to source and to, I will help humanity, to lift humanity. I will use all the resources I'm giving and the rewards for my ancestors and everything. Well, that's what, light, that's what light workers do. And you also were close with, um, because of your, your culture, Bog is uh, the sun god. And yeah. so, and he's one of my buddies. And so um, he, he looks all golden. Uh, and I saw a bog gift to go inside of you. It was a card. Many times he'll give you um, like a, um, a, it's a very glittery card. And and so it sort of looks, uh, I'm looking, I've got crystals everywhere. Uh, it looks like this. Wow. Okay. Beautiful crystal, yes. Yeah. And so, but he, he just gave you this card. Yeah. Uh, and so, and, and, and when, with, when he gives you a card that brings you abundance, crazy abundance. Okay. And so Thank you guys you. should, and you guys should piggyback off his gifts because if he got them, wow. you can get them, be one with him and you'll Thank get you. the gifts too. And so Thank there you. we go. I just want to let you know that I, I wear a Moldavite all the time. Right. Uh, it's with me all the time. I had a friend who told, give me a reading. She told me get Moldavite. And that will help you to to open up and to transform. Ever since I got that, there was a big transformation. I've been going through a lot of tests, going through so that it will uplift my spirit. And I met a wonderful master called Master Shah, which I owe a lot to. He gave me a lot of gifts. And I am so, so, so uh, grateful for, for him also. So just to let you I, know. I love him. I can see him. Yeah. Yes. Uh, His calligraphy here. I. That's the calligraphy he said he writes. It's uh, trans. He calls it transformative art, because when he mm -hmm. writes his calligraphies, they are actually writing from source. He gets. Right. The, he, he, he get, yeah, so he gets light from source. Uh, Master Shaw, miracle soul healer. I don't know if you heard of him, but to me, he he helped me so much so i'm grateful and i'm grateful to you too so thank you so oh, much no 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 thank you thank you thank you but he he has a miracle soul healer mm -hmm. say his name yeah the master shah dr chigan shah where's he where's he from where's he from he's uh from china immigrated to uh he went to the states first in uh in california and then for some reason he he came over to canada and he made us home here in toronto Oh, nice. Oh, yeah, nice. He, he's, he's, he's performed. Uh, he's given us, his students, his master teachers, so much virtue. And we're so grateful uh, for his. Well, you know, when it rolls through, you know, when it rolls through like a like like a person like him, it, it's really amazing because it just it's just a, an open yes. river of, of light. And so, oh, yes, he's very bless, bless him. Thank you for telling me who he is. I, I'm going yes, to put his website on the link because I see it. It's Dr. Ji Gang Sha, right? Yes, yeah, Ji Gang Sha. Yes, amazing okay. healer. He's helped. He's helping to transform humanity. He's got a heart of gold and yeah, he has given, he us, given us so much virtue. I owe a lot of my upliftment and my answers. Are, to, to, to the uplift, uh, the uplift yeah. that I got. You, and you, you now, have, thank you well, so thank much. Thank you. Well, you have, a, you, you, so have a, you have a great grandfather and mother, and they just slipped into your body. And so oh, thank this you. is from, and uh, that's, 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 that's way back. And they were beautiful. They had a little altar where they would work yeah. from. And so, but I see them. And so there you go. Anyway, thank you so much. I, yes. Love you. Yeah. Love you back. And you know, and you know what the 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 uh the special the boy Jordan you're talking about, he's very special. And I gravitate I towards towards these children, uh children yeah. of light. I think they're children of light, and they're beyond us, right? So they came to us to teach us uh, a few things, yeah. right? So yeah, here this is gonna help you. This particular crystal is a is a healing crystal, okay. And so yes. make sure Michelle knows how to send it to you. Okay. I'm going to give this to you. And it's going oh, to really, you. it's going to bring in a special vibe for you. I and have so, something like this. I have like, I have a lot of crystals myself. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, nice. I love that. I love that. My arms got really warm. Very nice. Very nice. Well, here I you can add this. Yeah. Add this one to your collection. This one's going to help you out. Let's okay. So Michelle, I guess, thank you. Thank you so yes. much. Text me, okay? I'm texting you right now, so you just have to give me your contact info. Thank you so much, Michelle. Thank you. I love you. I love everyone here online. <laughs> yeah, I like you. Uh, 
<laughs> you know, I like you and love you, which is nice. <laughs> which oh, is nice. So much. Energy. Yeah. Everybody loves you. <laughs> yeah, it's all good. Yes, it's really you're, good. you're blessed. Thank you. And I'd like to thank actually uh, a master teacher who led me to here. He gave me the link. His name is Paul Fletcher. Oh, uh, he's, 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 on, I, he's on my list. I was yes. actually call him next. He, he's, yeah, Paul Fletcher, a master teacher. He's uh, actually a follower and also a, a teacher from Master Shaw. He, he led me to here. Uh, I love uh, Paul. He's uh, Master Paul. Uh, he, he's helped me so you, much with a lot of questions. He's you, know always available like, you, know, you know what I'd like is you have so much appreciation. That's, a, that's like really cool. And well, you, you guys are like, okay, okay, appreciate already. But no, let me tell you, appreciation is everything. You know, God works on the science of appreciation. And so the more you appreciate God, the more you'll find you'll get blessed. And so it works like that. So it's a big deal. Thank you, buddy. I'll talk to you soon. Appreciate you. Love you. Love you. Love you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was a great introduction to Paul. (laughs) I had him on my list. He was next. (laughs) Good. Thank you, Gary. And thank you, Edgar. I I was just laughing most of of this last 15 minutes because your joy energy is so powerful. Wow. Just really like sweet. living joy. That's nice, right? It's 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 um admirable. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You're admirable. I can't even say the word admirable. <laughs> there we are. I did it. <laughs> and so there, so so how are you? You have questions? Do you have anything going on? What's yeah, happening? Well, my, my actually a long, long, long term student of yours, Scott Rumba, who's here tonight, also. Oh, yeah. He mentioned your name. Friend. Uh, we were out for a hike and he said, you know, you ever heard of this guy named Gary Spivey? And, and he told me about it too. And we were, uh, we were on a mountain hike, the river down below was on the edge of a cliff. And, and he was talking about you. I said, you know, I get the message. I should be there. And at that exact moment, I looked up and this eagle 20 feet away, never that close, uh, flies to the left about 20 feet and disappears behind a tree. I said, did you see that Scott? He said, no. I said, an eagle started right there. And as soon as I pointed where it was, another one, exact same size, exact is like it was like heaven just did a rerun, just just to have fun with me, just to show you it could. It, <laughs> right. And, and it, and it I have those things happen. I love that. And, it, and disappeared again after the tree. I'm like, okay, I guess I got to meet Gary. So oh, cool. <laughs> oh, good. Oh, good. So you're coming to the retreat? I, I, you know, I just learned about it tonight. I just went to your website tonight. Oh, come to the retreat. I feel like I'm going to meet you. I feel like I'm going to see you in person. That's what I felt like anyway. That's but, a possibility. The, the, yeah. You know, I, I, I did go to your website and I said, uh, you know, ask one question. And um, my question is actually more about my daughter. You know, I'm not a young okay. guy. I'm, I'm uh, you know, I'm over the halfway mark. And I had a baby and she's three years old. And, you know, Great. at the point of conception, I asked Kevin, could you please send me a Buddha? And so I believe I have a very special child, but I would like any insights that you can give me so that I don't screw her up, so to speak. And okay. most is she, value... she's, three, she's three years old? Yeah. Her name is yeah, Elise. She, yeah, she loves music. Yeah. So she has a rhythm. She likes to dance. Um, she loves music. She's going to be very attracted to the harp, which is a weird instrument to be attracted to. Um, they have a magic to them. I, 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 I bought myself a harp one time, a big one, cool harp. Right. And so, but, and, but she'll, she'll learn how to play the violin or the piano very easily. Oh. Um, and, um, that you should work her into the Suzuki method. Uh, it's a method of learning the piano, um, as a language. And so a three-year-old can learn another language like that, you know? And, yeah, and so and so so she's really smart. She's very brilliant, um, but uh, teacher piano or violin, but piano, either maybe both. But I see, and it's called Suzuki Method. And so uh, I used to own a piano company, and so I know everything about pianos. And so and I collected I collected really every piano in the world. And so <clears throat> and so so I love I love everything about piano. And so, uh, but she's she's very talented. Uh, and she'll be a super musician, and so and so she'll bring down a lot of heaven through her creation of music. That's good to know. Yeah, I found yeah. that, and that's actually the first instrument that I heard was to get her in front of a harp. So I found a little. It's like you did. Oh, that's crazy. That's amazing. You. That's amazing. You saw that because that's a weird one. 
I mean, yeah. I don't think I've ever told anybody to buy a harp ever, you know. Yeah, and so, nice. but I, I bought one just, you know, because I, I just had this connection. And I could play it the day I got it. Really? And, uh-huh. And it was really weird. I was, I was like playing this harp and I was like, you know, yelling at everybody, you know, Dean, look at me, I can play the harp. You know, <laughs> so it was like, but I, I really enjoyed it. But she has that gift. And so um, that's what it can serve the world best through music. Totally. And writing. And she's very creative. She'll be a writer and a a musician. And so, but I see her and just anything creative, she'll be a freak of nature with it. You know, that's that's what I see. Awesome. Have fun. Thank you, Gary. I appreciate it. (laughs) Hey, appreciate you. That's so cool. I can't believe I told somebody to buy a harp. Lion and Healy. That's the best harp. Okay. I think okay. that's, and, and some of you guys are probably going to correct me and go, no, this is the best of it. Anyway, but I, I found, I, I researched a bunch and then I ended up with one of those things. Anyway, so so there we go. Thanks. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. There's, good to meet you. <laughs> Thank you, Paul. Oh, awesome. It's fun. We're talking about weird stuff tonight. We're off, off <laughs> on, on the tangent. Every call is so different than the other. You know, it's really fun. It's yeah. really fun. Feels like we're well, I got another new one for you. All right, what we got? Shannon. Hey, Shannon. <laughs> Shannon, please unmute yourself. Thanks for being patient. Hey, girl. Well, hello. Oh, my gosh. I wasn't expecting to get called. I feel like I just won the lottery. <laughs> oh, I'm so glad to talk to you. I'm so glad to talk to you. <laughs> it's been such a long time since I've talked to you. So I'm so excited to be here and to talk to you. Thank you. But Thank you. Um, me too. Me too. What's your question, honey? What's your question? Well, um, something's been driving me absolutely crazy since probably November, December ish. <laughs> I make clay jewelry and one of my customers lost her father in a car accident. His name was Clint Carr. And so I made her a pair of memorial earrings um, to have with his name on it. And I finished the piece and I sat it down and I walked away. And when I came back, there was a pile of gold white hair next to it. <laughs> now, at the time I had red hair, so I know it wasn't mine. My husband has black hair and it, it was too long to be our dog's hair because we have Danes and they're short hair. And um, so, and I know the Clint, when he passed, he had blonde hair. So I'm like, whose hair is this? It's been driving me bananas. <laughs> And at the time I was doing some Bible study on TikTok with this girl who is also a psychic. And um, when I posed that question to her, she said it was from Archangel Ariel, which I thought was kind of bizarre. I wasn't expecting the answer at all. <laughs> so what was that? Do you know what this was? <laughs> Any ideas? You know, I've seen things lately, a few, a few things, right? That I where I saw things transpose in the physical from heaven to the physical dimension. And it's sort of like, Oh, wow. You know, and, and usually somebody's there. So I'm, I'm not just, you know, off my rocker, uh, but I'm like, did you see that? You know, that's and how so, I've been feeling like I'm cuckoo. Yeah. Like I'm crazy. Yeah. yeah you feel, well, see, that's what's going on these days. So a lot of things, are you know, and they've been doing this for a long time um you guys that that are getting you know like um woke up at three in the morning four in the morning bam wide awake you know um the these different energy fields that are doing things with us you guys that are getting beat up uh spiritually uh, at the same time you you feel warmth and heat and light and a, an amazing and this blissful feeling uh, well, the, this is what us humans are going through as the planet Earth turns into a heaven. So see, Earth is turning into a heaven, and this is your job to help it. And so, and, and in this, you're going to get glimpses of things that are unexplainable. And so I feel like this is what this is. And, and, and so, and I feel like your hair thing is, 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 is something that's unexplainable. Um, and, and it falls into the category of whose hair is that God's hair. And so that's what I heard in my head. And so, but I would go along with your, your spiritual person that you're talking to that talked about, you know, the archangel and so Ariel. And so, because it, there's, there's many things the, the angels are doing uh, to make it obvious for us because they look at us and go oh that's just another thick human right we're a little thick headed 
and and so they have to kind of get in their face and so i've i've had a lifetime of that and and so and and i hope i always do and and so and i hope you guys do uh but you you have to figure it out but there's little things like that and you're going to continue to do that i see your artwork being amazing are you doing little people artwork that's little people are you doing any little people what am i seeing little people i haven't quite yet little faces little faces what am i seeing well, I just made some this morning um, of um, earrings that are like album covers. Like um, I did a Taylor Swift album cover earrings because people like Taylor oh. Swift. Um, yeah, I do all kind. You can, what you can do with clay is endless. But um, I did find that, you know, after talking to my friend who is psychic, um, after I started doing Bible study with her, I got the the notion and, and the imprint in my mind that I need to start making like spiritual spiritual jewelry like I've made Jesus and Archangel Michael and ever since she said mentioned Archangel Ariel I've been doing a lot of angel stuff so I've, I've actually been inspired to do quite a bit of different things and explore yeah um, I see little well, I see little you know like little characters and so this is I see a bunch of little Michaels I see all kinds of things and so so I think you'll find that that's marketable that's what I'm hearing okay and so okay yeah. well what I did with the hair is I put it in this angel locket because I didn't know I just thought well that's kind of special if it was Archangel Ariel she told me that Archangel Ariel loved where I live because I live in a Joshua tree forest and she loves where I live in nature and with all the animals around me and stuff so I my first notion that it was actually the per, the guy that passed, um, Clint, because he had blonde hair, and so that's my first thought. And and my second thought was, well, husband, who is who have you had in my house? Where does blonde hair come from? <laughs> well, you know, here, well, here's what I see. You live in Joshua Tree, is that where you? I do live in a Joshua Tree forest in Arizona. Oh, in Arizona. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, let me let me bring in a certain light that I I got from California from. The, this joshua tree same thing in joshua tree and 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 i see this certain light which was a cre i was meditating there and i got this really special healing gift from there and it's native it comes from native americans okay um but i see this and i'm bringing it into you and and uh hang on let me just get this to allow this to come down uh but it's a gift of of uh healing and prosperity both but this is a healing a healing gift and so and it just now it's a big ball of light uh it's a golden ball of light and now you can feel it in your body feel it coming down and so <laughs> i had forgot about believe you know I, I get a lot of gifts and so sometimes i can't remember them and 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 so but this one's a really special one and this comes from that energy where you live and so there we go and now it just moved into your body look how that feels crazy feeling. emotional it's emotional well, yeah. it's incredibly healing. It, it will it'll heal you up and it'll heal everybody that you work with and through your artwork and everything else. So beautiful. Good luck to you. Okay. Ooh, thank you. That was good. Yeah, you feel <laughs> I it. appreciate it so much. Feel it. I, I felt it. Yeah, for yeah, sure. You feel, it in your, you feel it in your spine. Feel your back. Your back is like on fire. And so, yeah. Yeah. What are you doing to me, Gary? <laughs> <laughs> No, you're going to, well, you just got to, it was like this particular gift is a major healing. And so it's a major healing. I feel, I feel that every time I walk into my desert, it's so beautiful out here. And I'm so fortunate. I'm so blessed to, yeah. I just, I love my little piece of heaven on earth. That's what I call it. Some little piece of so desert. That's, what it's, it's, that's cool. what it's all about. We want to make our homes, our, our heavens. And so you want to, all you guys uh, create your heavens, create your heavens, whatever your heaven is. Everybody's got a different heaven. And then when you get a chance to go hang out in somebody else's heaven and enjoy their heaven. And so it, it's like that, but you're, you're, you're really wonderful. Uh, this is a major spiritual gift. And I, I don't remember ever uh, bringing this down and telling people about it. I don't think I ever did. Uh, this was uh, sort of one of those moments where I'm running around in some crazy place. I was in Joshua, uh, Joshua tree in, in California. Uh, and I was out there and I was getting all these gifts and I got that particular gift and I totally forgot about it. And so, but this, uh, this is a gift that I was able to, 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 to pull through you and that will Beautiful. allow you and other people to heal themselves and heal other people 
but it, it brings it into the physical. And so a lot of the spiritual gifts we're getting now, like, uh, you know, the hair thing you were talking about, is a lot of the, the spiritual things we're getting are bringing them down into the physical so they can do us some good. And so, hey, you're a blessing. I'll talk to you soon. Okay. Love it. So should I, should I keep, should I keep this as in my head that it's something special <laughs> or well, is it just something pretty special. I should wear? <laughs> uh, you know, do both, but it's something special. That's what I, say. I, I I feel that too. Um, and one more question is Clint Carr, the one that died, did he make it to heaven? His family loves him and misses him dearly. And he was a very nice guy. I talked to him a few times as one of my customers. Uh, he's doing really good up there. And and he, he actually has a crazy old car there. And so uh, <laughs> that, that I don't know if he had Thank one you. in this dimension, but he, he's got one there anyway that he loves a lot. So that's what I see. That's beautiful. Well, I appreciate you so very much. It's Goodbye. been so nice talking to you. Thank you, Michelle, for calling on me. And I've missed you guys so much. And I love you, Gary, and hope to talk Thank to you, you soon. Hey, take I'll care. You, All right, you take care, Bye. honey. That's Thank good. you. You know, that was really, really crazy. This is like a you know, that was, a, that was a cool gift. I had forgot about that gift. That was, that was a big one. And so, uh, cause it brings in this native healing, anything you can do with native healing. I mean, it brings it in and you got it in your physical world, which is good. Who are we talking to? Thank you, Gary. I still got two more people, two new people, and then a few other emergencies. So let's get Carrie W, Carrie, K-E-R-I. It's her first time too. All right, Carrie. Hey, Beryl. So there you go. Hi, thank you guys hey. for having me. Hey, thank you for being here. What's your question? Um, I've found a lot of your information about gifts really um, empowering and interesting. And I wanted to know if I had any particular gifts that you think could be helpful to other people or. Well, you're getting a gift, you know, you're getting a gift right now and it's a gift of a burning torch. Okay. Ah, and so this is a very powerful gift that helps get rid of a lot of things. See, most spiritual gifts are gifts of light. Uh, but however, there's some entities and uh, that will eat light. So light gifts don't work on them. And so, so you have to use a spiritual gift of fire. And so I see this. It looks like the torch that the, uh, the uh, Statue of Liberty carries but uh -huh. it's golden and it's burning inside of you. And this is a natural gift that you're born in with. Okay. So just okay. pull this down inside of you, hold it in your hand, hold it in your hand. Okay. Okay. Now then burn through your head. It's just going to light up your head, your heart, your belly, all the way down to your feet. Just clear yourself, clear yourself. There we go. See, you can feel it. I'm not doing that. You're doing that. Uh -huh. Feel it. Yeah. Yeah. What does it feel like? What does it feel like? It's like a, tingly almost um enlightening feeling like it like yeah. it's burning your head away. opened up well your head yes, opened and, up yeah your yeah. head got your head got big okay sh uh, just share that with everybody share that okay. you know you just want to be mm -hmm. one with everyone uh and everybody that ever sees this will get this gift and there you go that's, so that's awesome really, really good yeah, I also you have also oh go ahead you also have another spiritual gift that is really special. And let me see if I can get the picture, the sacred heart. You have the sacred heart of uh, Christ. And so let me see if I can, I guess I'm going to grab it. There's a picture back there in that window. There's an old picture that I always like hanging around with, but it, it's got like mother Mary and, and it, it, but you, you actually got, you actually have the gift of the sacred heart of Christ. You know, I see your cross here. That's amazing. You, yeah. But you, but, but you have, and Michael. The, well, you have, the the gift of the sacred heart of christ which is one of the most special gifts and so this particular gift there it is and so this will bring you in some crazy abundance of understanding and compassion and so okay. this is like just this really cool feeling you know um of of uh of love and so and you have that gift uh give that gift to everybody and see here's the i love this I, this is an old you know uh mm -hmm. picture that's beautiful I, I, yeah. yeah i feel it's old and and so and i have a lot of those i collect from like church relics and things and so with that mm -hmm. but but that that particular one had a certain crazy gift but you have that you have that really that gift uh that's mm -hmm. an amazing spiritual gift so imagine touch your chest Okay. Okay. There we are. Now you're in tune with the gift. 
It's a beautiful heart. Feel how you, your hand got warm, your chest got warm. See? Mm -hmm. See? Okay, now then just project this to everybody that will ever see this. There we go. And just give it to everyone. And now you feel really high. It's kind of a mm -hmm. crazy high feeling. Now that's what I feel like every time I do tapping in here with you guys. And so I feel really, that's really awesome. high. Yeah, because, you know, when you share your spiritual gifts, there's nothing better, nothing better. So you're beautiful. I love you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> I just had one other question. I, right. I keep getting told that I have a soulmate out there in all different types of forms of like readings that I've gotten that I have a soulmate and he's supposed to come back around and it's someone I already know, but they won't tell me anything else. Like, I they don't just know. They don't I, you know, I, I don't know if it's somebody, you know. I don't know about okay. that. I think you know him from somewhere. You may have known him from previous lifetimes or whatever, uh, but I don't know if you've ever met him. And so, because I feel a tremendous soul connection, but I don't know if you met him in this lifetime. And mm -hmm. so, so that could be, a, you know, a misinterpretation. Of, of, okay. You know, I, well, I mean, I could be wrong, you know, but but they could, you know, whatever. I don't feel like uh, you've met him. And and it feels like it's, an, it's a new one. And when I said that, your hands got slightly warm. You see, you could feel that. Mm -hmm. That just means I told you the truth. Now your feet are hot. You see? And so you mm -hmm. would just say, ask God to, to please bring you your soulmate. Just say, God, can you please bring me my soulmate? Yeah. Ask him. Can you ask God, him? Will you please bring me my soulmate. He said, yeah, if you don't mess it up. <laughs> yeah, well, that's that's the problem. <laughs> do you mess up your do you always mess up your relationships? Um I I'm sure somehow, because that's why they haven't worked think, out. Well, I think you doubt. Don't doubt. Mm -hmm. Ask God for the spiritual gift of unwavering faith. Okay. Say, God, give me the gift of God, unwavering faith. Give me the gift of unwavering faith. Oh, there we go. Now look how warm and fuzzy you feel. Feel that? <laughs> there we go. Now you feel teary, happy, different feelings. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. You're good. You're good. You'll find your man. You'll find that soon, soon. hopefully. <laughs> yeah, soon, soon. Your soul well, thank yeah. you so much for having having me. Um, my friend Maria loves you. She's here every Saturday, and she's gotten many readings from you, and you're just wonderful. So, oh, thank you, thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. I'll see you soon. You know, hey, Bye. you guys, if you want to book a private reading with me, I still do private readings, and I intend to do them forever as long as i'm here i'm doing private readings and so because i love talking to you guys i love helping you guys and and i love you know when anytime i help you i get helped it works that way for a private reading call me up 800-827-GARY uh garyspivey.com just log on you can you can do it that way but but for private private readings 1-800-827-GARY 1-800-827-GARY you can even call now and and we'll book you up and so anyway i look forward i look forward to that and next week we're doing the spiritual retreat live here in north carolina uh, a lot of great things to teach you guys i'm working a, a lot with the divine uh, beings uh, i you know i realized after a while i mean i'm always you know getting something new every time i would roll in to see richard and alice and are they on i don't know if they're on i saw them earlier are they here uh, and let so, me find out real quick and so when I when I would when I would roll into Ohio after I'd be on the road running around from from the city. Yeah, they're on Gary. Oh, good. Oh, good. Oh, good. Let me talk to them for a minute. And so I was always so excited because I'm always talking about you know like all the new stuff. Hey guys, I love you guys. What are you doing? I miss you. I miss you. And so, what are you doing? Can you, you got unmute. <laughs> yeah, I already hit. Uh, Alice, you have to unmute yourself. There you go. Hey, there we Hi. are. Hey, how are you guys doing? <laughs> I'm it's good. A, it's oh, a I, huge face. Ah, <laughs> I miss you guys. <laughs> I'm missing you guys. I'm loving you guys. I was talking about you earlier, Richard. I don't remember what I was saying, but I was talking about how you always say wise things. Oh, and so, really. yeah, vulnerability. Oh, you you were on. Okay, you so you saw it, and and so and I realized. I'm thinking, what in the hell is he talking about, right? And so be vulnerable, that would mean I'm stupid, right? Because I can't be vulnerable. I'm smart, I'm psychic, I'm this, you know, whatever, right? No, I'm an, I'm an idiot. And so, and then I realized that that this energy, because I kept on thinking about what you said. And, and, and so, and as I thought about it and I figured it out, 
and and you guys you know i mean richard's a writer he writes amazing books alice does that, all that and art and the, i mean you guys are are my freak of nature family thank you i love you and so and i always learn from you and we we i have a i have a one i have a saying that's always uh that i use with richard which is alice is always right <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, and, but damn it, she usually is always right, you know? And so, and of course I'm going to kill her in the meantime, but it's like, so, but it's, it's, it's like, it's like that. And so, but, but to enjoy your wisdom. And you told me be, can you talk about being vulnerable for a minute? Because people don't get that. People think being vulnerable is to be weak. It is not right. No, it what, takes tremendous strength to be vulnerable oh, you know? okay. and, and the, the people who are afraid are, are not vulnerable. They, they protect themselves. They build, oh. they build walls around themselves. So, oh. yeah. Well, it was magical when you told me that, I mean, I was like totally healed <laughs> and I'm like, so you get teary. I actually get teary when I tap into it. And it was like, it was this beautiful energy when you said, here's your problem. You're not vulnerable. And I'm like, but part of talking? this is, 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 is just being authentic, being who you are. Right. Yeah. And that's the easiest ah. thing to do. It's oh, so it is. Easy. But, but so, Gary, you, you are who you are. <laughs> I couldn't be oh, anyone else. There's, there's always, <laughs> there's always more. Yeah. You know? oh. But it's like, but this energy, see, I get teary, this energy of being vulnerable, guys, I want you guys to get this gift, because as I get teary, this is the ultimate healing gift, allow yourself to be vulnerable, because when I listened to what Richard was saying, uh, I felt this energy, and it was like magic, and I'm like, whoa, what is this, what is this? And, and so, and it was so powerful that it healed me. I was like, I was, you know, I was working on healing from COVID and, and so, oh my God, so powerful. So I want all you guys, I'm tapping back into that gift. It makes, oh, it makes me tear up. And I want you guys to feel that gift and realize when you get gifts, you can always go back. If you remember when you got them, who you got them from, where it was, what the moment was, tap back into that energy go there and allow that to flow through you. So I'm allowing this gift of vulnerability to go to all you guys, pull it in, pull it in, believe in it, allow it, believe, 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 trust, 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 trust. I would not have listened to that from anybody in the world, but you, Richard, I would not have heard a damn thing that anybody told me, it, it, it told me to be vulnerable, be vulnerable. No way. Right. But you told me that was my problem. I needed to be more vulnerable and be vulnerable. And I'm like, what? and then I was like, he's always right. He's always right. And he's wise. Okay. What is this? Well, anyway, and when I, when I did that and I trusted, cause I trust you I, and, and, and I let that happen. I got this gift that was crazy healing. And so, and now all you guys got it. Cause I just tapped back into it. That's the reason I'm tearing up. And, and that's the reason if you guys allow yourself to get that gift, you had a good day <laughs> and so <laughs> a good life <laughs> and a good life. Yeah. It's amazing. Wow. That's so powerful. So powerful. Oh my God. I love you guys. I wish you were here in the spiritual retreat, Alice. I love you, Richard. I love you. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. You know, Alice and I, we, we've had so many spiritual retreats in Ohio, California. It, you know, there was one time where, where the electric went out. We didn't have refrigeration. We're cooking dinner for a hundred people and we did it on a grill. Remember that Alice? And, and it we was had like, an ice box. We had, we had no. ice in the, in the refrigerator. <laughs> we had the refrigerator and we, and we packed it full water. of water. We didn't have any yeah. water. I don't know how we did it. We didn't were, have any water. Didn't have any electric. Yeah. I mean, it was like, you know, what the, we're camping and Alice and I are camping and we're cooking dinner for a hundred people a day. <laughs> and so, anyway, it's delicious. Um, I don't know how so, much, <laughs> so much fun. I love you guys. Please come to the retreat. Just decide and come and I'll see you in two days. How's that? Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. I appreciate you. Big kisses, big love. Big love, big love. If you can tap into that love, you'll feel something. 
That's just beautiful. There we are. Let me talk to Terry. Let me talk to Terry's iPad. <laughs> Terry, you sleeping. There we are. Terry's <laughs> iPad. Oh, there we go. All right, Terry, unmute yourself. You caught me sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I did. I did. I, and you're I upstairs. Got... You're upstairs in my house. <laughs> yes, <laughs> so I am. Terry's here with me. <laughs> I got zapped by that little guy's energy. Oh, what did that feel like? What did that feel like? I don't even. I I, I was trying to think what it was. I don't know. It was, it was big. Here's the thing. He was in the big universe. He was in the big Zion universe. Right. Um, and the, the only way that I understand where he was, which was, I mean, it meant a lot to me, right? The only way that I understood where, where Jordan was this little guy, um, his special needs. Well, you know what, whatever he needs, I'll be glad to help with that. <laughs> and so, because he, he's just amazing. Uh, God gave me this crazy, when I got my Zion gifts, he gave me the gift of intellect and my IQ went through the roof and, and it was a little hard to deal with because I thought everybody was stupid because <laughs> they were compared to where I was. And so, uh, and then finally I asked God, can you dumb me back down, please? Cause I don't, I can't take that. But he had, he said, no, I have to leave you smart for a minute so you can understand all of my universes. So as he left me in that space, I, I understand things like where Jordan is and the blessing that Jordan brings, you see, wow. and you guys, if you, as you watch that, I mean, I got a lot out of that. That's probably the, I got more out of that almost than anything except Richard Dallas. And, and so, but that was like, that was so cool to see this. And, and, and so these little kids that are diagnosed with, they're on the spectrum I, I want to choke every doctor that says that word. Mm. I really do because no, they're, they're a genius and you're in, you're a dummy, right. Compared to where they're, they are. And so, but they're bringing in all this light from all of the heavens. And that's the reason he was doing this. Right. Cause I, yeah, I tapped into that when you said that and I was like, uh -huh. Oh heck. Yeah. Woo! Right. And so when, because after I went through my COVID thing in Zion heaven, this is what I, this is what I did. I did this. I did this for about three months. I would just move. <laughs> I would move like this. I moved just like him. And so I looked at that and I thought, wow. Okay. You get it. And so I'm yeah. to me, that was like, wow, something is going on. Let my dumb self figure out what that is. So I, I can allow mm. this, this particular gift and all these gifts to come down. Well, it's really good that you got some kids doing this. You, it's, that's a beautiful thing. And so, cause I knew that when I was doing that after my COVID thing and hanging out with God in Zion heaven, the highest heaven, I was lighting up this world with, with some crazy spiritual gifts. Well, that's what Jordan's doing all the time. Misunderstood. No one knows mm. spectrum doctors, right? Spectrum teachers, you know, <laughs> see? And so and it really, that's, that's what that is anyway. But but I'm glad that that Terry, I wanted to see what you got, and I'm glad that that's what you got. That's what you got wow. out of it. Well, you know, it's funny because the first night I got here, I was telling you I was meditating before I went to bed. You said to remind you of this that um, all the entities that are out in the yard, I kept seeing them, but they were like huge. Oh and yeah. Then you reminded me. There's a um, I forget what you said it was called bigger being planet i don't know what you said but anyway well, well you, here's the thing we were talking guys realize that the universe is very big god's universe is is very big you are a god being so mm. you have the ability to become very big so if you don't understand something Ask God and allow yourself to become bigger than the earth, bigger than the Milky Way galaxy, bigger than big. And you'll find your space and you'll get your giant spiritual gifts, be able to clear anything in the cosmos 
and you're on your way. It's simple. That's what it is. That's what I wanted you mm. to remind me. And you just did it. It's a perfect time right at the end of the show. I love you. Love you. I love you, Terry. That's good. I'll, I, I, have we, do you have dinner? What are we doing? <laughs> I don't know. Right. I'm going to come down and find out. Well, show everybody where you are. Take the iPad. Look around. Show everybody where oh you're at. Oh, my gosh, you guys. How do you do that? Do you reverse it? Let's see. Oh, I see how you do it. You do it like that. Here we go. Okay, look at this, you guys. Oh, here, yeah, let's see if I could step back and just look I at think the whole you had your room. Virtual oh, you have it on blurry. Your the background's blurry. You gotta take off the blur. Yeah, take off the. Oh, virtual how do you background. do that? Uh, oh. How do you do that? With your uh, video background, you know how you look for backgrounds. Take off and hit none. Oh, okay. Let's see if I can find that. I don't know where background is. Let's see. Da -da 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 -da. Huh. Let's see if I can do it like this then. No, I can't. I'm not <laughs> technically <laughs> challenged, you guys. Anyway, <laughs> this place, video this video place is amazing, you guys. I'm like, oh my goodness. She's you were talking yeah. about where we're putting people. I'm like, I'd be happy in a cot in the crystal room. <laughs> That's yeah, what David's saying. <laughs> I know. <laughs> he, likes, he likes sleeping in the crystal room. It's really fun. Yeah, he told Very me. That. Yeah. I oh, love it. We got I'm great sorry crystals. I don't know how to do that. Oh, it's okay. We've got great crystals right now. You guys are going to have really a fun time like with all the crystals. I mean, they're really, really good and very powerful. And so there we go. Enlightenment Club. Uh, spiritual master class is coming up you guys we're doing that from two to five uh and uh, oh that. goodness when's gracious the master class? when's the master class dina oh that's a good one gary uh let me look at a calendar <laughs> <laughs> yes yeah, because because of, because of the retreat i think it falls on the 28th this month no no it can't no, no. it's on the 30th, no it's on the 30th right? 30th it's july 30th sunday <laughs> Zion Healing Crystals. There we are. Uh, also, Zion Healing Crystals. You can go to the website. We got tons of new crystals going up on the website in the next two or three days. Uh, and I got them here really for the spiritual retreat. This is mm. going to be so much fun. And some of these crystals are crystals I've never had before. I've been working on getting them for a while, and uh, but I got them. And so you guys are going to freak out. ZionHealingCrystals.com. You can buy one of my crystals anytime. And any of the crystals you get from me, I've touched, I've hung out with. I, I brought light down. I hooked them with Zion Heaven because when you get them i want you to feel them and it doesn't matter if they're as big as these giant geodes or if they're this little guy here uh but whatever it is is going to hook you up so so just uh check out zionhealingcrystals.com you can do it right now and uh order a crystal and so the, that's everything helps us out and so we really appreciate you guys and we just want to help you out. Uh, looking forward to the retreat this week, the spiritual retreat right here. Make sure you join us virtually. Join us virtually. You're going to get all the spiritual gifts that we get when we're here in person. And uh, it's really simple. Call Michelle, 702-822-0548. If you want to uh, hang out with us in person, you can still do it. 702-822-0548. I'm Michelle at GarySpivey.com. Or you can call the office 800-827-GARY. Uh, at GarySpivey.com and, and we'll be glad to hook you up. So I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. Thank you. Am I missing anything, guys? What am oh, I forgetting? Readings, virtual retreat, and personal readings. Retreat. Yeah, I'm doing private readings this week uh, for a few days. And so uh, 800 827 Gary, call me up for a private reading and I'll be glad to talk to you about your stuff. I love you guys. Thank you for joining us here on Tap.